Okay, so we, we have a problem. We have a problem. This is the brick wall. It continues over here. Um, you remember that when they built the brick house studio, they were they were putting together, they, they were selling these bricks to help finance the whole thing. Um, on this side, there's another brick wall. So, um, and one of those is mine, and I can't find it. So, we've enlisted Matthew to help us find it. So, while John and I go down to where these cables lead us, um, Matthew's <laughs> scared for the brick. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we are at the, what is this, the lion's den? Oh, uh, it's the basement. It's the, it's the basement. <laughs> um, and this is where the cables come down through the ceiling from the right there. turret. Let's see. Yeah. So this is Leo behind bars in a, in a rack. This is where the cables come down. So you can actually uh, see, look up there. That's where the studio is. And the cables come down here and go to the big, uh, let me step back a bit. I don't have my wide angle on. So. This is the this is the actual computing power behind Twit, behind the video processing. Over there, we didn't see it. Is the server room? Yeah. Our gateways and our fiber and our external connections. Oh, there's are. more. We call that the brain, and then there's this, and we call this the aorta. And oh. We call this the heart. This is the aorta. And this is the heart. And this is the heart. The brains are at the other end of all of this. Okay, brain and heart. So uh, this is my audio rack. It's got my AM stream processor here, a brand new ProStream from uh, Telos. These are the mic nodes and the analog line nodes. And here's the brain for the audio control surface, all digital up here, all the mic connections. Are, there's just a big one cable connected to that mixer upstairs. It's just a control surface for the power station for the Axia um, element board. Wow. Here's the video rack or a video rack. This has the thing that is so dear to all of us, the video hub. This lets us, for example, monitor 68 is right there and I can put, let's say, Leo's room camera in it. So we can see Leo's room, we can see Leo's over the shoulder. Oh, Leo's over the shoulder, that was pointed at you yesterday. That, no, was, that was the one need, I was on yesterday. We need yes. to point that back at his desk. I, I apologize to Leo for not taking care of that. <laughs> now, here's where we put in all the controls for the TriCaster. Oh, Whoa. they went. Oh, we took them out, so you can't mess with the TriCaster down here. That's why. But for example, do we have the same uh, iPad upstairs at the control turret, and it controls the video hub, which is 72 HD SDI ins and 144 out, and we can take any and in and put it to any output. And that's a black magic device. It is, and we love it, and we've almost outgrown it. When we first started moving in here we bought a 40 in 40 out it was pretty pretty clear after we started adding up all the cameras because it's not just the cameras it's the computer inputs every desktop screen it goes into the video hub too so that we can route those anywhere we need them so we're 68 we filled up 68 of the 72 inputs got plenty of extra outputs and here's the tricaster and there's the TriCaster. The famous TriCaster. This is the, this is the successor of the one that back in 2009 broke when I was there. Um, you, you weren't there. The TriCaster 850. Well, actually, you were there. Been, yeah. The TriCaster 850 has been uh, pretty consistent for us. Good. Um, it, it, there, there are some features of it. For example, long video playback that it hasn't been what we expected. So we have other machines to play back video. Let's real quick look at this rack. This is uh, a bunch of rack equipment. Remember that KVM upstairs? That yes. A bunch of computers. Well, here's the computers it controls. First four computers are uh, Skype machines, the Skype one through four. Whoa. This is the, we call it the Good Blaster machine. It's that other machine that we pull up different things on use for different purposes. This is the most important machine right here. This is the streaming machine. This is running Wirecast on it, and it's sending our video to all the streams. So whoever this, watches the stream, it comes in through this comes, machine. Unless you're watching it on an iOS device, which has a different or screen. Roku, which uses uh, live uh, HLS as opposed to Flash. Okay. This is a separate machine. And now, after we've uh, came back from the from the caves under the Twitch Studio, um, Matthew has found le brick. Here we go. So it's here. It's here somewhere. Right above the door. Right above the door. So everyone has to walk in almost under the brick. It's not quite under the brick, but on the right side of the brick. Here. 
There. There it goes. And it's in the middle of, like, how many bricks are there? Uh, 1,200. 1,200 bricks. So uh, took us, like, 10 minutes to find it, but um, we did. Here, stand, stand here. Point the camera at yourself. Where? Stand right here. Point the camera at yourself. Get this brick into the shop. There you go. Uh, thanks, John. <laughs>